Welcome everyone, this is our Strategic Systems Group new product announcement. And today I'm joined by Danny Inuma from Strategic Systems Group. Danny, let's jump in and get started with first, what is it that we are announcing today? What is it that Strategic Systems Group has created? Well, Strategic Systems Group is excited to announce Migration Cheetah to enable in for clients on legacy ERP systems to migrate their data to uh, Business Central and uh, start their transformation to the intelligent enterprise. All right, so then let's talk a little bit about the, the target market. Who are the people who uh, we're looking to help with this new solution, and, and what is it that they get out of this? So this solution is intended to provide you know, assistance and value to companies that are currently using a legacy in for uh, ERP application and want to migrate to Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. Fantastic, and, and so what's the value of using this tool? Uh, why would somebody want to, uh, to go and, and leverage this? Data migration sometimes has a reputation for being a kind of an ugly and time-consuming process in a ERP systems migration project. Um, so to alleviate some of that time and effort and dollars being spent, this tool will um, take the legacy in for data, uh, clean it up, translate it into the new formats uh, required for Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. Um, store the data in an Azure SQL archive data warehouse and import the data cleanly into your new system, uh, Dynamics 365 Business Central. How does this differ from, you know, Microsoft has tools for importing data, so how does this differ from the, the tools that Microsoft provides? Uh, one major difference is that um, Microsoft typically develops products to you know, either pro extensions or tools to migrate data from existing Microsoft products to new Microsoft products. Um, SSG has some multidisciplinary experience in mul um, different ERP systems from multiple publishers, including Infor, SAP, and Microsoft. Um, so in this case, we're leveraging our, in our decades of Infor ERP experience to um, provide a solution and a platform that will allow legacy Infor clients to uh, migrate from systems that are quite old to a cloud-based solution like Microsoft Dynamics Business Central. Fantastic, that sounds super exciting. So you mentioned something earlier about uh, a data warehouse. What is that, what does that do for this solution and how do customers benefit from that? So in the process of migrating um, the legacy data to the new system, uh, Microsoft Dynamics Business Central, um, not customers will have better control over what data goes in and what data comes out, but still have access to their historical data in our um, Azure SQL data warehouse, um, plus visualization if they would choose uh, with Power BI plugins to that data as well. So I know that, you know, for a lot of clients when they're migrating ERP solutions, especially coming from a, a legacy environment, uh, that data is pretty old um, and they might only migrate over sort of the, the master files, the customers, the vendors, um, inventory information, that kind of stuff. Uh, they don't typically migrate over all of that historical financial information. So am I understanding that this tool really gives them a place to go to bring all of that information over so that they've got historical access to that data? That's absolutely correct, Eric. I think you know it gives the customer more flexibility about how to deploy the data in the new system, but still have access to that you know, um, historical financial data um, if they need it, you know, for auditing or um, other types of, uh, you know, accounting or financial needs. 
You know, one of the things that we see frequently for clients who are doing that kind of a, a legacy uh, ERP solution migration to a, a new modern cloud-based platform is that a lot of that data, it, it's old, uh, it's not clean, um, and so how does this solution help with uh, that process of, uh, of the migration uh, and maybe, you know, the, the cleanup effort involved in, in getting the right data to move over? That's a great question. I think part of it is going back again to our expertise with legacy and force systems. So we have a very good understanding of the data structures, um, tables, business objects, et cetera. And also a very good understanding of how that data needs to be translated into Business Central. Um, so using you know some of our proprietary processes to clean, kind of scrub, translate the data into a new format for Business Central uh, importation um, is really the value of this tool um, in addition to the archiving um, of the historical data as well. Perfect. So, you know, there are other tools that are in there. We talked about Microsoft tools. Um, there are other companies out there that uh, create uh, migration tools that say, you know, they can migrate data from anything to anything. So how does SSG's solution differ here? So this tool um, is actually going to be one of a few of our product lines in our Dynamics 365 migration. Um, you know, platform as a service. So in this particular vein, um, this product is specifically centered around Infor Legacy ERP to uh, Microsoft Dynamics Business Central. Um, however, um, in order to resolve maybe some of the shortcomings of other products or Microsoft solutions, um, let's say Microsoft tools as an example, um, pretty much take you only from point A to point B. Um, you know, let's get your uh, data from an existing Microsoft system into our new Microsoft system. Um, but that's that's kind of where it ends. So what happens to the old data? Um, well, I guess if the client wants to keep it, they have to figure out how to do it themselves. So that could be, you know, either um, local hosting of uh, a data warehouse or SQL database, um, co-location or cloud. But someone has to take the time to manage that as well. So taking that time and money and man hours out of the client's hands for data migration, cleanup, storage, archival, um, et cetera, goes far and beyond what uh, Microsoft solutions or other um, providers of this type of service um, are doing currently in the market today. Fantastic, and you mentioned a couple of other uh, parts of the, the technology. You talked about Microsoft uh, Azure SQL, um, you talked about Power BI, so it sounds like uh, SSG is really leveraging the power of the, the Microsoft platform to create this solution. Um, I guess, you know, what does that mean for, uh, for uh, Microsoft and for Microsoft partners? Well, you know, SSG has been heavily involved in the um, International Association of uh, Microsoft Channel Partners and is also uh, very connected to the Microsoft ecosystem. And developing this solution on the Microsoft stack um, of products, you know, Azure SQL, Power BI, plus Microsoft um, Business Central uh, for ERP, um, really allows for an integrated solution and platform um, that's easy to use for the customer. Um, it also allows us to provide this solution to a greater market through uh, a channel of trusted partners, uh, which I think is, is very important. So we want to, this tool to provide value, um, but also um, be recommended in a consultative approach, not just in the app source marketplace. So it's, it's, a, it's a tool that, that leads to, to something bigger, um, which is probably um, you know, business central uh, implementation and uh, configuration for that client as well, which uh, is gonna provide more value than just the data migration alone. So I know Microsoft has their uh, Azure Marketplace and they have the uh, app source for the dynamic solutions. How can clients or partners uh, get access to uh, the solution? 
Absolutely. So Microsoft is uh, making a big push around both App Source and Azure Marketplace. And uh, data from Forrester uh, recently is saying that 80% of consumers want to buy um, their products or services through an App Store or a Marketplace type of uh, platform. Um, so in trend with this um, you know, economic data, consumer data, um, the way to get started is to look for our um, in 4 2 Dynamics my, uh, migration tool in the Microsoft App Source and Azure Marketplace. Um, you can uh, check it out, look at the product description and videos, screenshots, and also uh, sign up for a free trial to convert some of your uh, basic uh, records from your legacy in 4 ERP system uh, to a test Business Central Sandbox if you would like to test out the product as well. <laughs> Wow, fantastic. That sounds uh, amazing. And I know that there are thousands and thousands of uh, Infor clients uh, across the U.S. Danny, can you talk maybe just a little bit about, you know, who are those those clients? What types of, of companies has uh, Strategic Systems Group worked with? Uh, maybe talk a little bit about uh, SST's history with Infor and with uh, the Infor solution. Absolutely. So, um SSG's core team has been working with Infor products for the greater part of the past 30 years. Um, some of these products include uh, Infor Man Man, uh, MK, Bon, and uh, ERP LN. Um, quite a few of these systems are, are quite old, especially, especially Man Man. Um, and there's been uh, quite a few clients that SSG has come across that have stayed on this software for 20 plus years. Um, and in order to meet the changing you know, market demands of, of the current economy and uh, te technological demands for growth and scale, um, I think it's time to really make a focus on helping these people move to a modern uh, ERP solution. And you know, you touched on uh, some of the, the length of the, the time that Strategic Systems Group has been working with these solutions. Uh, what types of companies have been using them? You know, are they, uh, I guess, what industries does uh, SSG serve? So SSG has typically served uh, manufacturers and distributors, and uh, that's where our, our expertise typically lies. And many of our, our legacy N4 clients are uh, manufacturers and distributors of all industries, including aerospace, um, life sciences, and uh, defense contractors. Fantastic. Okay. Um, I guess, you know, let's touch uh, a little bit on, um, you know, some of the other things. You mentioned Power BI earlier. So can you talk a little bit about why would somebody want to uh, use Power BI? What's the benefit of having the, the Power BI integration with this technology? So uh, once the legacy data is uh, archived, um, essentially, it's not connected to that legacy ERP system anymore. Um, so any any tools that you might have used to extract, visualize the data um, are not going to be available to you anymore as a client. Um, so what do you do with that data? Um, you know, storing it is one thing, archiving it is one thing. Um, but getting it out, extracting it, using it, um, visualizing it into dashboards. Um, making making use of that data to make uh, better business decisions um, is, is where the value is of the Power BI integration to the uh, SQL archive in Azure. And help me understand how long has uh, SSG been working with Power BI? What's, what's SSG's you know, experience or expertise working with Power BI? So SSG actually many years before Power BI <laughs> created its own proprietary data warehouse and business intelligence solution uh, probably about 15 or 20 years ago. Power BI is a great product and uh, now we're actually currently involved in the LA Power BI user group as well. So hosting events for Power BI users, um, connecting uh, partners, um, users, and um, you know trying to, to benefit, uh, find a mutual benefit to Increase the the education, you know, ed educational outreach for Power BI, and also, um, you know, provide some expertise to the community. Amazing! That sounds fantastic. So, Danny, can you give us a brief summary about the product and uh, kind of 
a high-level version of what it does and how it works. Absolutely. So I think the three stages um, that the product covers is uh, extracting the data, um, transforming it, and then loading or importing it into the new system. So at the beginning, um, the tool will uh, extract data from legacy info systems such as MK, Bond, uh, Manman, and LN. Um, put that data into a data warehouse, then clean up the data and, and translate it to prepare it in a, the correct format to import into Microsoft Dynamics Business Central. Um, there are some predefined uh, migration and configuration parameters in the tool. So it's relatively painless uh, once the process is started. Uh, after the data is imported, um, you know, the uh, configuration or implementation team can validate the data and that historical data that is not imported into system uh, based on the client's uh, parameters um, is then stored in Azure um, and connected to an Azure SQL database. Um, and as we spoke about before, this, uh, this, this database is connected to Power BI for visualization and extraction of the data. Um, as the as the client deems necessary. So, what what challenges does this specifically solve for companies that are undergoing this type of uh, implementation? I think the greatest value um, is time and resources. So, uh, ERP implementation project of of any size um, is a it's so quite a large undertaking and requires internal resources on the client side as well as um, you know, consulting or implementation team resources on the um, consulting side. So in order to alleviate some of that um, and you know, save the, the, the end user some time in the migration and implementation process, um, leverage, you know, SSG's experience in both of these systems, um, you know, Legacy Infor and Business Central, to, to take that pain out of the process. Um, you know, let us uh, you know, extract, you know, load, archive, and um, visualize the data in Power BI instead of paying someone, you know, either internal or uh, external resource um, to maintain that, that data on an ongoing basis even after the implementation or migration has completed. Um, so I think that's that's the value here and, the, and the, the problem that the tool and service is trying to solve. Sounds like a fantastic solution. Um, is there one thing that you want uh, a potential customer or partner to know about this solution? I guess it would be that the the info to Dynamics mm -hmm. data migration tool um, allows the customer to really almost skip the process of, of data migration, archiving, and, and cleanup, and, and loading. So rather than take that on um, yourself and try to learn the data structures and tables from the, um, you know, uh, departure system to the destination system, um, you know, leverage our, our years, many years of expertise in both Microsoft and in for ERP platforms to, to really take the pain out of data migration, archival, and importation. Fantastic. And you mentioned that this is kind of the, just the beginning for Strategic Systems Group. What does the future hold for this solution? What are you thinking about uh, coming down the road? So I really think this is the first of a few product lines under the um, you know, Dynamics 365 data migration tool as a service platform. So this one specifically focuses on Infor, um, however, uh, Infor to Business Central. Um, however, we would also like to develop a Infor to Finance and Operations tool as well, and also um, maybe also some uh, AX, uh, GP, and NAV to Business Central or Finance and Operations as well. Um, with the Microsoft platform tools, again, I think even though uh, Microsoft has some extensions or plugins that can convert data from one place to another. Um, that's where the services and the value ends. So there should be um, customers that, that want more than that, and that's where these tools come into play. 
So we know that Microsoft is really driving forward with those Dynamics 365 solutions. You mentioned Business Central. You mentioned finance and operations. It sounds like this tool is really, you know, in the future, potentially also going to benefit uh, customers of those legacy Microsoft uh, ERP solutions, the Dynamics GP, Dynamics Nav uh, solutions. Uh, will they be able to, to take advantage of that this at some point in the future then as well? That's correct. Um, you know, to your point, in, in the market today, there are many customers on, on aging versions of Microsoft Dynamics GP, Nav, and AX, um, and the push from Microsoft is to get you know these customers to the cloud, um, cloud ERP solutions and business applications, um, including Business Central and finance and operations. And I think these tools um, lead lead us to SSG, part of SSG's greater mission, which is to lead companies to the intelligent enterprise. How do we do that? Is to get you to modern business applications, you know, off of on-premise solutions, off of uh, manually uh, managed solutions, and into cloud solutions, um, where there's uh, less man hours to maintain and um, use the system. Um, these systems are all hosted somewhere else. You don't have to deal with any physical equipment and have a integrated uh, technology infrastructure on the Microsoft stack of solutions. Well, this has been fantastic, Danny. Really, really exciting. And I'm super, super thrilled to uh, share in announcing this and look forward to, uh, to seeing where Strategic Systems Group can continue to, to take these solutions. It sounds like you've got a big, big uh, future ahead. Thank you so much, Eric. Appreciate the time.